Okay, so we're doing an unboxing of this beautiful Airfix BHC SRN4 hovercraft. Um, Mrs. BG gave the um, stash update the other day, and thank you all for your very kind comments. We had a blast making that video, as you can probably tell, and it's so cool to see that everybody else is enjoying that just as much as we had uh, enjoyed making that video. Um, yeah, she is such a great sport about everything. It's just it's so much fun having somebody in your corner that um, That really gets it. You know what I mean? She just really gets it. So that's that's like the probably the best thing I can say about about all that all right, so Sean from scale model car guy channel asked if we could do a uh, an Unboxing of this. I think he's very very curious about what's going on inside here as are we because this is still sealed whether or not it's a factory seal, I don't know. I don't know if they used to seal these like this in factory. However, there there is something I have a concern about, and it's um, it does sound like a rain stick. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and slice this open and take a look inside and see what we find. We're having a different camera set up here because I had to clear off like everything over here in the northwest quadrant, and. Um, <clears throat> just to give us the space and we have the actual camera on a tripod in front of us coming up from the floor so if we bump it and wiggle it please please forgive us for that type of thing but uh usually we have a smaller one that's sitting on a table in front of us okay we're gonna go ahead and use the knife and could cut it just you know there we go that ought to do back home you go so right off the bat, we can tell that uh, this is a substantial deal since that's actually corrugated cardboard, not just the pasteboard box underneath. So it's kind of nice to see like Airfix being like, yeah, we need to protect this as much as we can. Okay, off comes the cellophane and I love this box art. I might frame that afterwards stick that back there like that okay cool so what have we got some plastic um so of course we got plastic got some transparent plastic this looks like it's actually the top of the hovercraft it's kind of weird to not be able to see that um it's a little bit yellowed um you know it's neither here nor there bag is moderately sealed okay yeah yeah it's sealed so yeah i got um side can we drill in a little bit here there we go got the side windows this whole piece here and then we just pull back like that this whole piece that's that looks like it's the whole top section it looks like that's interesting that's very interesting i, I would not have expected it to be trans a whole top piece to be transparent but it looks like it's in good shape hey what is this we've got cars <laughs> that is awesome. They look like they're right out of the game of life. Uh, but yeah, hey, we got cars. Oh, sweet. Look like a couple of Mini Coopers. Oh, oh my gosh. So what we see in the box art, let's, let's do this. Here we go. What we see in the box art, we see this little guy here, this little Morris, I guess, and then this VW Beetle, and then there's another Morris-like vehicle up there. Those are actually represented in the uh in the transparent pieces oh my goodness you're gonna be a pain okay fine go over there that's your home stay there now okay good so yeah let's zoom in again so yeah so we got uh looks like two volkswagen beetles and two morrises i i'm i'm guessing those look like morrises if you're an aficionado on, on british cars that are transparent and tiny uh let us know but yeah those look like i mean i've <laughs> I was looking at the box art thinking, wouldn't it be cool to have like a little, a couple little cars in here? All right, so taking a look, here looks like a bottom piece here. And let's see, let's get down to the instructions, shall we? I'm just gonna zip to that part. These are a little crinkly, like maybe it's been wet. Uh, but this is actually a booklet definitely a booklet of stuff here and put back there we go. big old booklet of stuff so it looks to me like the assembly is going to be pretty straightforward and even though it's a 1144 scale kit it looks like it's still going to be something of substantial size 
and yet still desk friendly so oh okay color schemes cool uh, let's see white matte black slate gray yellow light gray and red just plain old red <laughs> Uh, okay, so there's two different. We're, 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 we have two different. Um, what we call these. We'll call it a craft. Two different crafts that we can uh, do. SRN4002 or SN4003. The 002 is the Swift, and the 003 is the Sure. The Sure Swift, and it is advertising Humbrol paints. So that looks like a pretty nice looking um, instruction sheet there. And let's see, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that a lot of the sounds that we were hearing in the box was because so many small pieces falling off. I can't even begin to imagine what pieces these are. Um, being being such a small scale, it's going to be hard to identify stuff. Also, not being a, a, a hovercraft aficionado. There is an actual texture molded on this here. I'm not sure if this is going to be a decking piece or not. Can't really get the texture on there. But there we go. Let's see here. There's a big giant sprue here. Everything's sort of interlaced, like a game of pickup sticks. I'm trying, you know, trying to be gentle. So look at that. Man, that's going to be cool. Ladders. Ladders. Those, look, those actually look pretty good for ladders. Yeah, that's not bad. And yeah, that's all right. Let's see here. There's some loose pieces here. Hmm, maybe that goes in the water closet. Oh, let's see. Oh, here's some chairs and benches. What a mess, huh? Yeah. The only thing bagged in there was the transparent pieces, which look like, other than the little bit of yellowing they've had, um, looks like they've been pretty well taken care of let's take a look here all those little chairs and benches do, 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 do. a lot more I'm not seeing a lot of flash um, you know flash is easily dealt with there's some right here but it's just you know it's nice to see that the quality of this is pretty good and I need to double check what year this would have been packaged in so I'm going to set that to the side. And then, let's see here. Part of the... Uh, okay, so it's kind of funny to see that this actually has a, a styrene skirt. Um, but I think painting that will be so much easier now that we have, to me, a rubber black. And um, yeah, uh, I'm just glad it's not like a, a piece of vinyl or something that we had to try and form that would have change shape or discolored over time or whatever so I'm, I'm actually glad to see that it's got a styrene apron uh, this looks like it's more hull pieces there we go more ladders bulkheads and then uh, side pieces there for our windows oh there's the propellers those are thin huh some anchors tiny little guys I wonder how often they had to use the anchors. Let's tip this up a little bit. Are these the decals, decals, or decals? They are indeed. Hey, these look like they're in really good shape. Well, that's great. Um, oh, I'm stoked about that. So we're gonna just tip this up here. Uh, let's see, so here's our um, control surfaces and engine nacelles. That's kind of cool. Oh, that would have been for the decals. And then look, just you know what? I'm gonna have to go through here and just bag everything up so that it, you know it doesn't go on walkabout. Just the odd pieces here and there. And you know, as we go along, we'll be like, oh, that's what that's for. This is obviously part of the skirt. Uh, let's see, more skirt pieces. Here's some side skirts. So yeah, um, looks like most of this is made up of the skirt material. So that's that's basically what we all have down there. So there we go. That's gonna be it for this because it's basically all just more pieces of uh, 
of uh, skirt stuff, but man, that's uh, what a happy find having those little cars in there, huh? That was just too cool. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and sign off now. And get this all edited up and set set uh, set the play so you guys can check it out. And um, yeah, y'all have a great rest of your day. We'll talk to you a little bit later on. Bye.